we want to be able to take equations and actually solve them for a specific variable. So how is the best way to approach this? Well, if I want to get delta t all by itself, I have to get rid of everything that's in front of it. So if all three of these are smashed together, that means they're multiplied together. So what is the opposite of multiplication? Division. So I want to divide both sides by everything that's in front of that delta t. So that means that I'm going to get q over sm equals delta t. And you're finished. Now what if I have something that looks kind of like this? I've got this pv equals nrt. This time I want to get the r all by itself. So again, everything is squished together, so everything is multiplied. And the opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide by everything that is not an r. So we're going to divide by nt. If we do it to one side, we have to do it to the other. So that means we're going to get PV over NT equals R. Now remember, if it's easier for you to mark out as you go, please do that. And our final example, it's pretty nasty looking, but again, we want to get R all by itself. Well, we've got this denominator, and it's so it's divided. So if we want to get rid of the denominator, what's the first thing we need to do? Well, we're going to multiply the entire equation by j. And so you're going to distribute that just like we've done in previous examples. So that's going to give me j times q equals i squared rt. Now this looks exactly like what we just did in the previous example. I want to get rid of everything that's not an r. So I'm going to divide by i squared t on both sides. So I'm going to get jq over i squared t equals r. And that's your final answer.